Hello and welcome to the Thursday, March 14th, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Sutters Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Large language models like ChatGPT are making so many tasks easier. Now, a lot of people talk about the offensive side of it, how ChatGPT can be tricked into writing malware, writing exploit. Xavier today took a more defensive look at ChatGPT and explored if it's at all useful helping deobfuscate malicious Python scripts. And while it actually worked pretty well, this particular script had two obfuscated lines. One was a byte sequence that was first decompressed and then base64 decoded. ChatGPT did a great job in not only the obfuscating the code, but also kind of explaining what it does, basically check whether or not there is network connectivity. So he is promising more diaries like it. In particular, he says he's working currently on integrating ChatGPT with Jitra, everybody's favorite open source reverse analysis tool. And while we are not done with patches yet, as often after Patch Tuesday, we sort of have Cleanup Wednesday where we cover some additional patches. Let me start with probably the more serious ones here. I would actually rate this particular set of vulnerabilities worse than the vulnerabilities patched by Microsoft. And they are released by Fortinet and are part of 40OS and 40 Proxy. The vulnerabilities that are being addressed here do have a CSS rating of 9.8 and 8.1 respectively and could allow an attacker to seize complete control of vulnerable systems. Now, one thing that uh, Fortinet here suggests as a workaround is to not rely on form-based authentication, instead to use something like... uh, basic HTTP authentication or NTLM. Neither one of them is actually that great, but the one big thing that these authentication mechanisms do, and I think actually I mentioned this sort of as one kind of workaround yesterday, is that they prevent any custom code from being executed before authentication happens, substantially reducing the attack surface pre-authentication. That's probably why you want to implement uh, these suggestions. HTTP basic authentication, of course, is in the clear, but if you're running it over TLS, uh, then you can sort of mitigate most of the risk here. Other vulnerabilities, an unauthorized account access that uh, is affecting the SSL VPN functionality. And then we have uh, some escalation of privilege vulnerabilities as well as some critical vulnerabilities also in 40 client EMS. 40 client EMS is the endpoint management system. So that's something that you really shouldn't expose. And also mentioned before, but one of the issues with these types of firewalls, gateways, whatever you call them, is that they are often operated in smaller businesses who don't necessarily have the dedicated IT staff to actually keep up with all of these patches. And yes, we got updates from Adobe for Experience Manager, Premiere Pro, Cold Fusion, Bridge, Lightroom, and Animate. The one product here that I sort of would pay a little bit attention to is, of course, Cold Fusion. A single vulnerability being addressed here with a CSS score of 8.8. And, well, this vulnerability allows arbitrary file system reads, which, of course, can be a big problem if this allows access to secrets. And researchers from Akamai disclosed details regarding a vulnerability in Kubernetes. Uh, Due to this vulnerability, it was possible to gain remote code execution with system privileges on all Windows endpoints. CSS score here is 7.2. The reason it's like you know, not a critical one, like not in the nine range or such, is that in order to exploit this, an attacker needs to apply a YAML file to the Kubernetes 
cluster and uh, well but we now have this yaml file available at least the proof of concept for it make sure you are running kubernetes 128.4 or later well that's it for today if you like this podcast please tell your friends about it leave good comments in your favorite podcast platform i'm doing them because well people are listening so thanks and Talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.